Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Libra. If Libra is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. And so this is a bonus reading for Libra. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit that little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. And it is free to subscribe. We would love to have you here as part of the channel, part of the community we have that is growing. Okay, let's see what these tea leaves have to say tonight. And so, our card is the Three of Wands, and this is from the Hermetic deck. As you might know, if you watch my readings, I usually use the Thoth deck, but for the bonuses, I've been using um, other decks that I have that I don't get to do on camera as much, and, and so we're using the Hermetic deck lately. And it's one of my favorites. And now the three of wands. Ooh, I always think of um, not only not only choices. Like we have uh, opportunity, right? Paths to pick from, a fork in the road. Um, but also so much about finding strength and balance. Okay, so I want to start right here. And we have a B right here. We have a musical note. We have, uh, it looks like a flower. Okay, and... And so, you know, there's an emphasis on the work, right? The B is so often... Uh, related to the work of uh, of the flower, I see a harmony in going about the work. I'm um, going from one task to the other, finding the sweetness in life, the sweetness in that mundane work. This is in this in this uh, physical space on the flat of the of the bowl here. The incline would be emotional, and the rim is metaphysical. Okay, so I think you're doing really well at work, uh, in your creative work, your domestic work, uh, raising children, raising grandchildren, um, you know, whatever it is, whatever, you, whatever your current uh, focused work might be, which, you know, it could be so many different things. Um, you are excelling at this. And not only are you excelling, you are finding a source of confidence and emotional resources here. Um, with that music, I, I just imagine kind of going about the day humming and singing and, and um, kind of losing time as you go through the flow. Um, it is not as, ugh, you know that tension you get when you're just doing the thing you don't want to do and you know the the minutes seem to linger <laughs> they never go by uh and it's just tiring it feels like your soul is is fading you know when you've spent so many hours of your life doing something that you don't like to do you know and i think most of us have been there most of us have had jobs that just are not our favorite. Jobs that we barely can get out of bed to go do. Um, you know, and so uh, this, this period of your life is not that. At least right now, not that. 
the flowers blooming, blooming, blooming. I think that you are just seeing life in this very kind of sunny atmosphere. Uh, you are happy to meet the day. Now, we also have... There's a person here. There's some kind of animal. It looks like maybe a, a, a donkey or um, some kind of... I, would, I don't think it's a horse. I would say like a donkey, right? Um, and there are these motions between. I almost feel like... There's, there's like a sense of, uh, humor, <laughs> like, a um, kind of just acting a fool a little bit, um, laughing, 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 laughing. And, uh, I think that this is really added to, um, this present state of really enjoying the things that you're doing. You're letting loose a little bit. I can always tell when I haven't been laughing enough. I feel um, locked up in my body. I feel stiff. My soul feels like it is withered. Um, you know, the, I, I don't know why it is, but laughter really is the best medicine. Uh, and so if you are somebody who um, you know, doesn't really, hasn't explored comedy too much or, or, um, you know, I don't know my, my, I really like stand up comedy and I really like meme world. I'm like all about that meme life. <laughs> I like to laugh. I do. And, um, I get lost in the silliness and the abstract absurdness of, of, um, of memes and the many, many different communities of memes and genres and so on. Um, and I, it makes me laugh. They make me laugh. I have to tell you. Um, so, you know, whatever it is for you that really is, um, so silly that it just really gets you going, make sure that you're making time for that. Make sure that that, that is something um, that you prioritize in your life. You know, we, it, it's like in a relationship, you know, we prioritize, um, you know, building the foundation, keeping uh, a home together, um, you know, keeping things balanced and moving and, um, spending time together one-on-one -on -one and, you know, the, the, um, the physical aspects of that and all that. Uh, but you know, something that I don't always hear people talk about is, um, having, having time to really laugh together, to really, um, not just enjoy each other's company because that's part of it, of course, but to really look for things that make you both laugh that, um, you know, that can cross over into joking quite a bit. My husband and I both are, and I see the thing is when I met him, I didn't know anything about the office. I thought, ugh, I, I don't know. I'm not really into sitcoms or, you know, things like that. And, um, he finally got me to watch it when I was pregnant. And, um, and I just, it was so hilarious. I watched it so many times since we had our daughter and, um, you know, and then you have those little jokes together and you're initiated into this thing that, um, you know, really kind of connects you. And so, you know, if it's with somebody in your life or if this is with yourself, uh, you know, look for things that make you laugh. You know, they don't have to be funny to anybody else. They don't have to, you know, be anything profound. Just laugh. <laughs> you know, that's what it's about. Okay. Let's see. So, we have a person who is kind of right up on the top of this uh, cliff or hill and they're face to face with what looks like a bird. 
I think they're kind of looking at each other and it looks like maybe um I almost imagine imagine like a quail or um some kind of chicken maybe a hen uh either way there is a sense of facing your fears here sense of going to that place that is difficult doing the hard thing okay um i feel like and this is what came to mind really when i saw the three of wands energy um doing well even in the face of um naysayers in your life people who don't understand what you're doing Okay, um, keeping to that middle way of the work that you are doing, um, you know, and I think this is a big thing, especially when we're doing spiritual work, uh, magical work, occult work, religious work. Uh, it's important in my mind anyways, it is my opinion, this is only my opinion, but it's important to stay in the, in the middle way as much as you can. Um, this is not to, this is not about the right or left hand path or anything like that. So, you know, don't don't take it as that. I just mean that it's important to keep ourselves uh, grounded, to keep ourselves balanced, to not become, um, you know, too dogmatic or um, unmoving in our understandings to um, be able to um, find a way to be flexible and sometimes even have uh, moments of cognitive dissonance uh, that is conflicting ideas yet still holding them both to be relevant at the same time. Um, this is, you know, something that I imagine is in that middle place. Now, um, I think that this keeps us from becoming kind of untethered, spiraling, detached from base reality. Uh, and especially when there are people in our lives who don't understand what we're doing, they might be critical of your lifestyle, the things that you believe, the things that you are studying, exploring, whatever. Um, you know, I think that it is helpful to keep yourself with a firm, you know, firmly with your feet on the ground. That's important. Okay. Uh, you know, and so I feel here, I look at this and I think, you know, um, this is a place where, uh, you are being brave. You are going your own way. You don't care necessarily what other people think of that. Um, while you are being respectful of their stuff, their ideas about things, um, you are not deterred from your own path, your own passions, your own um, inspiration and motivation. Okay, um, so that is a wonderful feeling and that confidence is so important. Um, it's not something that we all find, but I do think that you have... You have this here. You have this close to you. Um, you have this, you know, alive. Alive in, in the places that really matter. Okay. And let's see. We have, uh, it looks like two. T-O or T-O-I or T-O-O. -O. We also have... I was trying to look it and see. I think this one looks like a, like a I and a J maybe, and a J right here. It also kind of looks like a dog on this side. Uh, so I think I don't know what it two and J I or I J maybe initials. I'm not sure. Um, over here though, this is interesting. We have, uh, the mountains, we have the mountain range, but then we also have kind of the sign of waves or electricity above. Um, and so, uh, you know, there is, a, it seems to be a movement of, uh, big energy, big energy is coming through. 
Okay, and so as you are um, going about this work, doing the things that you are doing, I feel that uh, elementally things are in line for you to go further in. Um, things are in line for you to um, enact the operations or um, ritual or whatever it is that you are working on. Um, everything is kind of really aligned in your favor here. Uh, there is a sense of bravery, really, truly. Um, there is an electricity in the air um, and maybe even a cleansing downpour. Okay, so let's take a look over here. Hmm, we have the apple. So the apple usually indicates that there is a health, um, usually good health. Not often do I see it. It would be kind of distorted. Uh, but um, it looks like a, a time of feeling well. Okay, maybe physically, maybe emotionally, maybe, maybe both. Okay, um, so take advantage of that. If you're feeling good, keep that momentum going. Okay, uh, we also have above it a bird in a nest. So it feels like you are close to home. Okay, maybe spending more time at home than usual and resting where you need to. Um, getting caught up on those, you know, lost hours of sleep. <laughs> getting some good restful sleep. So that is wonderful. Now we also have an arrow, okay? Um, and really looking at this, there's not... I'm looking, it looks like we have a heart up here and then we have kind of a circle over here. So a heart here and a circle here. Um, and so I feel like there is this movement towards kind of a wholeness in a relationship. Um, maybe kind of uh, repairing some kind of fracture, um, getting to a place that is a little more holistic, a little more knowing, um, filling out all of the sectors of kind of, you know, how a relationship might be. And, um, and so maybe this is, you know, part of this, uh, beautiful time for you is that, um, your relationships are, um, in a healed place, in a place that feels, um, loving and trusted, uh, not a lot of problems and um, a place where you, maybe that's where the rest is coming and you feel like you don't have to worry about much, which is a lovely thing. Now we have the Cincy Child Affirmation Cards and I'm just going to go ahead and flip through these, stop where it feels right. I'm going to flip this one over. And it says, I am kind to myself and others. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> good for you. No, this is important. Now, some people, they, they kind of um, mix up what it is to be nice to others and what it is to be kind to others. We don't always have to be nice. Nice is uh, something that is can almost be like a put on, right? It's something, um, it's a, it's a way I feel like it's, I mean, it depends on your conditioning or, you know, how you view all of this. But, um, I think especially as being a woman, it's something that's conditioned into us as, um, kind of a defense mechanism. It's also something, um, a, a way of, I suppose in some way conforming, um, being pleasant, agreeable, this kind of thing. But being kind is something else altogether. Being kind is to be of service. This is to be um, a person who lives of love. This is a person who, um, you know, treats other people with the knowledge that everybody 
has gone through something. Everybody might be, anybody you know, might be going through something. We take care of each other. Not because we have to, but because we should. We treat people better than they treat us. This is what I tell my daughter all the time. Um, Not because we are weak or we are um, in a lower position of any kind. No, because we do. We just do this. It's the only way that the world will get any better. It's the only way that we will um, begin to, uh, you know, get along with one another, hopefully. Um, And I feel like it helps us release some of the the blockages that we have, the anger, the um, judgments, the, you know, um, I don't know, whatever, just these, these things that we don't need to carry with us. So yes, to be kind, to be kind. And that doesn't surprise me that a Libra would be kind. Um, definitely does not surprise. So, That is a most fitting card, I believe. Uh, And with that, I'll say thank you so much for spending this time with me. It is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. If you would be so kind as to like the video, it really does help the channel so much. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit that little button, the little bell button, and it will let you know when the next videos are coming out. Uh, it is free to subscribe. You don't have to pay anything. Um, and we would love to have you as part of the community here. Uh, also, if you would like to leave a comment, I read them all and they mean a lot. Uh, not only to me, but to other people because they read them too. And I see a lot of you connecting with one another and supporting each other. And I think that's so important, um, to do that as much as we can. Right. Uh, so I want to say thank you. I love you. And we will talk again real soon.